Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great day. Well, today as you can see, we have another unbagging. That means we have another review. So let's find out what is in the bag. Well, we have stamped cross stitch. All right. So we have two stamped cross stitch kits. And these come from Biggest Craft. If um, I have any specials or if they have any specials, uh, it will be right here and in the description box below. So let's see what we have. The first kit is 45 by 47 and it was $9.99. I'm going to move that out of my freeway. Let's get it out. It It's a Joy Sunday, and it comes in the beautiful Joy Sunday bag. If I can get it open, my goodness gracious. Sucker was stuck. Let's see if we can get it out of here. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. It feels a little damp. Yep. So I don't know how good or bad this is going to be, but it is 14 count. Isn't that pretty? With all the pink and white flowers and the basket. I just love the basket. I'm not seeing a lot of back stitching, actually, so that's a good thing. And it comes with this lovely paper pattern. I'm trying to get it right side up. This has 59 colors. And it does have, <clears throat> excuse me, both of the uh, the keys. This one matches the paper pattern, and this one matches the canvas. So there is some back stitching. It must be nominal because it really, it's like on the flowers. Very nice. I'm glad there's not a whole heck of a lot. There is two. It is 203 stitches wide by 217 high, and there are six pages to this pattern book. Let's see what colors we have. We have 310 black. Anything else I know? Nothing that I can see. No 939, no 823, no 3371. It is using B5200 for the white. You've got six different colors in back stitch. There's no French knot, no half cross stitch. So this would be a good kit for a beginner who didn't want a whole bunch of back stitching. It's pretty straightforward back stitching. It's just kind of like some lines in the flowers. Yeah, I don't see anything, you know, too horrible, I mean, on the back stitch. So if you wanted to get introduced to it, you could. Let's, here goes nothing, right? Oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened to these kits, but dear me, oh, my. Okay, it does have two thread cards. I'm trying to get them apart here. And the thread cards come comes with two needles. And these are the ones where the red number means how many strands you have. And then the DMC number and then the thread card number. So 59 colors. A lot of beautiful pinks and like, I don't know what that color is. It's like a medium raspberry, if you will. And golds and yellows and whites with green. We have browns and blues and more pinks and more greens. Beautiful colors. Just, just stunning. And there's your 310 black. Look at that brown. That's a nice brown. Both of them are. So, not a lot of... Well, mostly pinks and browns is what I was going to say. Not a wide, wide variety. But you do have blues and yellows and greens. I don't see... Well, yeah, there is a little bit of orange. Nothing 
too carried away. Didn't see any purple purples. All right, let's take a look at this canvas and be disappointed, right? Yeah, I will be writing the company that this was wet. It feel, still feels very damp. You can tell that it got wet by how blurry the writing is. It blurred it. It's like the top half. So I don't know. You could probably follow the pattern as simple as this is. But you can see the water damage. But I will let them know. So, And they will probably send me another kit. I just, I don't know why they don't check these things. So, um, one of the companies emailed me and said that there was something wrong at the factory where water got on some of the kits. So, be careful. If you should get one that is wet, just contact the company. There are, there is like a link on the site for contacts and let them know. This is unbelievable. I don't, I'm trying, I'm looking to see if I can even see what the symbols are. Some I can, some I can't. It does have a big paper pattern, so. But the paper pattern, you're going to have to. I don't know, I'm just upset. Um, the paper, the key on the paper pattern is different than the canvas, so. You'll have to cross-check all that. But you do have the listing of both things. So it's easy to see there. All right. It is 46 and a half centimeters or 18 and a quarter inches. And this way it's 45 and a half centimeters or almost 18 inches. Actual picture size is 14 and a half centimeters I bye bye bye. Uh thirty-nine centimeters or a little over fifteen and a quarter inches. So it's fair good size. You don't have to do the background. Yeah, the more I'm working with this canvas, it smells mildewed. So I will be since it got wet, but I have never had even right now. It still feels damp. Just damp. So, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed with that one. Let's hope that the other one is not that way. All right. Let me get it out of its package. And this one, oh, God, is... No, it doesn't feel wet. Uh, where is it? 48 by 66, $12.99, Joy Sunday printed. I can get it out of the darn bag. This might have to have its own bag. Let me put that up there. And flip everything over. God, I hope this isn't wet. No, it doesn't. Doesn't seem like it. Alright. This is called Christmas Tree 2. I don't know what year it came out. I have seen it around, you know, here and there. It is also a, uh, oh, what is it? I don't know. You, it's a partial. You don't have to do the background, so you just have to do all the little elements. So it's very cute. I love all the birds. And I think you've got either cats or owls. I believe they're owls. But we'll see that more in the thing. And squirrels. Seeing anything else I reckon. Oh, you got rabbits and a deer down here. And you got deer sitting down and rabbits walking around. So yeah, it just had a lot of cute little elements. Let's see if we big pattern. Let me see if it has both. It does not have both keys. So this is the key for the paper pattern. It has 20 full cross stitches colors 
and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors and backstitch. You can add to this as much as you want to. You know, you could even put beads on these trees, but it only has backstitch and full stitch. So there's just backstitching. I don't know if you can even see that. It's kind of light. And then when I get the light on it, it makes it worse. But just around the pine cones here and there, you got some little thingies hanging that need to be backstitched. It is 220 by 320. But lots of nice, cute little Christmas elements. So my friend Diane has this same uh, package or cross stitch. Uh, so we're going to try to work on it between now and, and Christmas and see how much we can get done. Now it is divided into nine parts, which means there's nine pages. But they're very nicely printed, very easy to see. And the back stitching I'm seeing is very nominal, you know, like strings to hang things. But it's not around every house, every bird, or anything weird. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like a very easy cross stitch. Let's take a look at the piece of, at the colors. So we got one, two, two very dark green, or, well, that, I don't know if it's green or brown. I think it's dark, dark green. And that's a dark brown. I didn't even tell you what colors we had. Well, you know, some days we're just so with it. Uh, I do not see any 310 black. They're using 3371 as the dark, darkest of darks. We have 321 red, 498 red. Um, and those are the reds that they're using. I don't know any green colors. We have 3371 and no uh, 3865 or B5200 in this at all. So, yeah. Well, that's easy enough. But I think 20 colors is going to be enough for this. Just because it's repetitious, if you will. Like the tree is all, you know, three or four colors. And the animals are, you know, so it. It doesn't have to be uh, shaded. But very nice. Very nice. Love those reds. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Especially in Christmas things. I don't see any Christmas red. I mean Christmas green. You know that bright. Brighter green. I don't know what color. Number that is. Alright. Let's take a look at the canvas. Alright. Drum roll please. Oh yes. It's good. Very bright, very big uh, key on the bottom. Paper pattern will not match the canvas. So this is very simplified to work on. Very nice. And then you just add all the, the strings hanging down. But very easy to see. There's no smudging, no smearing, no water, nothing. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't want to have to reorder this. Or let them know about that. All right. does have the product. Try to get it down far enough. Product name and the two numbers that were on the front of the canvas. Trying to find my measuring thing. So it has a lot of area and pools of color. And you could dress this up however you wanted. If you wanted all different kinds of beads... Hanging on the tree, you could do just whatever or add crinic to it. Go for it, you know. This is six, about 66 and a half centimeters or 26 inches. And this way is, if I could just get it to lay down, 48 centimeters or almost 19 inches. Actual picture size is 40 centimeters. Or almost 15 and three quarter inches. So it's a pretty good size piece. By, if I can get a hold of everybody, 
uh, 58.5 centimeters or 23 inches. So it's a good size, but you don't have to do the background. Just stitch. So that's awesome. It looks like the birds are in two colors. Yeah, you could dress this up however you want it. I like that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But very well printed. There's not a lot of different symbols. With 20 colors, it keeps it very simple. And I like that part. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. Let me get that all folded up. It's kind of a big canvas, but it it's light. Nice and lightweight. And both of them are surged all the way around, if I didn't say that. Sometimes I forget. All right. Thank you, Biggest Craft, for the two cross-stitch kits. We'll be starting one of those today. Now, Biggest Craft does not have diamond painting. And I don't know. I don't think they have paint by number either. They just have cross-stitch, beaded cross-stitch, embroidery. Uh, they have lots of... Uh, accessories they also have um what do you call it punch needle stuff q snap scroll frames so anything to do with uh your stitching stitching uh they have and they always have a right wide variety they have great customer service i will get in contact with my rep and let them know about that other kit and they should be sending me another copy of it so hopefully that one will turn out all right guys thank you for joining me today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye